Welcome to your March 2019 reading. I'm Shivani and we are reading today Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. I think this season is so good for you guys. Pisces season while everybody's riding their emotions and I wouldn't deny that you guys do not have your own share of uh, overwhelmingness. Of course you had it. Of course everybody is riding the wave. And even you being in your own home sign, you also can feel it. And most importantly, you guys are in path. So you guys probably might be catching a lot of other people's feelings too. But other than that, I just feel like you guys are doing so good. You guys are on a whole new level, right? You guys are like on upswing you guys are i think water signs this year are going to be super savage uh and probably everybody's going to be like water signs savage have you lost your mind no uh i think water signs are going to evolve and adapt into this place where i don't get and it's so rare for a water sign to adapt to that Feeling, but I could just feel like all that you guys have been through going through going through this stuff I just feel that you were bound to come to this place where you're like I'm done with this shit and you know what I don't care what people think I really really don't care what people think what they want to Judge me, judge me, cool, do that. I'm gonna do my thing. You guys are like so driven right now. You guys are so driven. There's this energy of confidence. You guys are very confident this time, and mostly it's not uh, common for what signs to be so confident, but you guys are because I think you're driven by intuition. You guys know what gets your boat sailing. You guys are confident of your own intuition. You guys know what's coming. And you can see your ships right out there. So it's no wonder that you guys are really in a place of, I know what I'm doing, so don't bother, please. I'm sorry, but that's the kind, that's the energy. You guys all are riding with me. Because you are just, you have come into this place where you're like, you're done with people doubting you and you doubting yourself most importantly because now you guys can see how your intuition has been right all along and because of other people's opinions and judgments you were probably of course you were going through your own healing as well but you are done being in this place of being attacked by the external world because of what they think because of what they perceive you to be as and you're like guys I know what I'm doing even though you can't see it, I can see it. I'm one sign. I'm intuitive as far well. Do not bother to tell me. Because I can see. Won't be wrong to say, right? That water signs can see future. You guys can see. And when you ex exude that kind of confidence, the universe is like yeah i support you i see that i see you guys and i feel in a way it's the universe moving you pushing you in the last few months just pushing you continuously on this edge that you finally come to this place where you are so confident and so vibrant and in your energy right uh, as I just said, you guys are not shying away from speaking the truth. You guys are like, yeah, I know my truth and I'm going to speak it. I'm going to be who I want to be. I'm going to be exactly who I want to be. Who I think is, I just feel you guys are so driven by purpose and your passion. Because you guys know that what you are going for, word, is so much more important. Um... 
guys, it's time to celebrate your victories. I just feel like so many good things are coming up and going to come for you. Uh, there is definitely celebration. There is definitely going to be this energy to want to celebrate, to want to be in this place where you're like, I am doing good. And I, I know what is I'm going to say this after a pretty long time. Because there's been just this continuous cycle. Like if earth signs, fire signs feel that they have been tested for a few months, I would say for water signs, it's been happening for years. And because you guys are so strong emotionally, you do not let that reflect outside. So people think probably you got it all easy, but you guys know what you need to do. And earth signs, and earth signs also got the same card. So there is love coming for sure uh, and it's natural obviously when you exude that kind of energy it's very attractive let's not deny it it's very very attractive uh, to the people around you to everyone uh, that energy of independence that energy of knowing exactly what you're doing and being confident in it and more importantly you're just putting yourself out there so much, right? So what do you think people are not going to notice? Yeah, people tend to avoid. People tend to just skip through uh, water signs because they're not actually so attention-seeking. And attention-seeking, not in a negative way, but they're not loud. So people tend to kind of like skip over water signs. But not this time. People are really taking notice. And the right kind of people are taking notice. The energies which match to your energy. Ah, this is your energy. You are in your power. You are carrying that savage empress energy. And I'm happy for you guys. That's where things are moving towards you. Oh no, you know? That's where things are moving towards you. Uh, you are in a very, very emotionally, mentally happy place. You guys have been waiting for this fulfillment for so long and you, you, you got it, right? Not been easy, I know it. Uh, also brings you justice. Probably, I think world signs have reached to a place where they do not even care about justice anymore. They're like, yeah, shit happened. I forgive. I go past it. And they let go. They heal. Uh, does not mean that the universe does not notice. Does not mean that the law of karma does not do its work. Because it does. And it brings you this. This month. So March. Justice. And justice has been coming up really, really, really strongly for me as well. And I'm over so there for confirmation and I just this is just very sweet it's just giving you know right now I'm having just such a happy sweet feeling like when I was doing earth signs there was this feeling of a little bit of heaviness and anxiety actually I was having anxiety at that time but this one is so much more calm this much is so much more excited it's like you guys are you, you guys are getting a chance to be, you know, carefree and just flow in your own flow. And that flow is so strong and attractive that it's actually attracting other people to get on your ship, to get on your board and to actually sail with you. And people, good people are coming, I have a feeling, because you, one, Yes, you are in the strong place, but at the same time, you're not in a place where your light will attract moths. Even if it does, it won't come to you because you have such strong boundaries now and not in a negative way. Uh, there could be tendency to also hold back a little when things start moving into your favor. 
because you just don't want to give away everything yet you want to hold on secrets you want to hold on to your identity probably i just feel this is somewhere related to when this happens you can probably act like this because you're like i don't want to give away everything because what if this just goes away uh, but i don't think anybody better than water signs know how to open up so when this does come and it is it is done avoid this like you have an empress is not a fool do you get it just being loving and kind does not mean you're a fool probably in the past you acted like one but no it does not now that you are the empress you're not a fool just because you're loving and kind and generous does not make you a fool you're also intuitive and trust your intuition and be open open yourself you don't need to hold on to things so tightly hold on to your i'm getting past so tightly yeah past was not so great but it's been done and dusted and i would say right now in the zodiac a lot of other people are healing you guys are like yeah there has been deceit probably in this month they could be somebody who's trying to be what they're not again not related to love could be a friend could be a coworker could be anyone somebody could be wearing mask and not being exactly true to you so what do you do you embody the empress you use your intuition and you see through things but you do not let them disturb your flow i just feel nobody can copy their flow right now no one can and no one wants to this card just fell on this card this is you holding on tight this is you open this is you opening up you holding on tight and this is you like really really opening up this is and who are you honestly what are signs you are queen of cups you are open and loving and giving and being open and loving and giving does not take away anything especially when you are not in this energy if you remain here where you just scared and when you're just overthinking and going crazy yeah your energy can attract people who are like who take advantage of you being in this place but when you choose when you choose to move out of that energy of doubting yourself or being in these fears and being more open instead you get to this place of um you get to this place of attracting abundance but it's mostly asking you to kind of like concentrate and work on your own pentacles things come to us when we are in the flow so being the flow you are doing really good doing whatever you're doing right now so just focus on your pentacles keep on working on what you're working and stay true to this energy of being in your power i just feel that now that you are in your power this is a month of owning your power see that there, there it, it's different because okay uh, we can wait to come into a power and then we get into the power but then it takes a while to settle and to accept oh i am in power this is more this looks like a month which is a lot about being in power and honoring your power what else i just 
feel you guys it's like just started the party has just started things are just moving in things are just moving in seeing here is a leo and an aries so it could be an aries or a leo but there could be this tendency to you being independent i just feel like we've got a lot of cards here which just emphasize again and again how you guys could be holding back because of obviously past hurts uh and you're just doubting so much and you're like just like are you sure this is good for me yes it's good for you as long as you are good to you so irrespective of the fact if it's an aries or if it's a taurus or if it's a um or if it's an Aries, uh, as long as you are good to you, good things will be attracted, right? Like you are owning your power. No one can mess with your flow. No one can mess with your flow. Um, I feel this energy coming right here, Taurus, if it is. They or somebody probably acting like a Taurus, right? guys know how Taurus are right they could be actually very focused on you uh, they're not distracted if they're coming in and if they are saying something they mean it percent percent on the other hand if Leo's or Aries are coming up for you there could be a need to kind of have some boundaries and probably think a bit because I don't know I am not sure about their intentions again the intention is never bad okay uh, it's just that probably where they are in a place right now and I just feel so again yeah this is a fire sign so if a fire sign is coming be it Aries or Leo or probably even Sag uh, these guys are kind of like going through a it's their season and they could have, have a tendency to be kind of like over the board overconfident overzealous and that can kind of like put you off uh, cut them slack if you would want to but uh, I, I, I would say this is mostly about keeping a firm boundary sort of like yeah like don't judge them prior but keep a safe distance to see how they really mean to you how they are really what they it's mostly like what they have got to offer you yeah yeah what they have now that they are back now that they are now no, no, that probably even a new energy what they have in store for you because there could be uh, probably some other people involved in this also and we don't want to mess with the flow or mess with our own integrity getting involved into other people's business so if you have a fire sign coming up make sure they are coming from a place of um, commitment and assurity and not just having fun yeah yeah so what is March Rose all about March is really really as we just started funny how the first card was Ace of Swords when I started this uh, reading and the second card is the king of swords the king sorry the queen of swords and both of these are just asking you to be savage continue to be savage continue speaking your truth and putting yourself out there because um we are loved for who you are we, uh, the world needs to see the real you the world really 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 wants to see this honesty that you're bringing in we want and I feel this honesty is also the truth and with so much of fabrication and chaos in the world 
we would love some true help there. And you guys are bringing it. So there is. So please do. If you are really planning to start a project, if you're planning to speak more loudly out into the world, if you're planning to do some public speaking, if you're planning to put yourself out in social media, planning to write a book, start a video, a blog, great time to do this. The world is ready. It's in fact looking up to you. I feel it's like all eyes are kind of like on you. People are excited to see what you're bringing. People are really, really, really looking forward to what you're bringing. So, the only way to do it without uh, disappointing other people is by not thinking about other people. I think water signs can really screw things up when they start thinking, what is it that I need to do which will make people happy, which will give people what they want. And this time, the is to not think about what they want to think about what do you have to give and those who tend to give see there's such a strong energy for you guys to give back to the world like you guys really 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 want to like share your truth with the world so definitely definitely if you guys are feeling guided to be more authentic, to speak more of your truth, then by all means do it. Do not hold yourself back. Do not hold yourself back. The way world is really looking up to you, waiting to see what you have to give. You have a lot to give. What assigns your intuition is your soft, compassionate nature is what this world needs right now. Your light is what we need right now. So please put yourself out there. Put yourself out there. I hope this resonates. Uh, I hope this brings you the light and the peace. Um, um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you. I love you guys so much. And I'm so happy to see you guys doing so good. And being in your element. And actually getting all this abundance that you really 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 deserve and all this but not at all come like like it's so fantastic to see you guys do this uh by being who you are like you don't have to be someone else to get all these good things rolling by all these good things start coming to you when you're like just being who you are soft emotional intuitive beautiful just the things you have been always criticized for now you're owning up and now the world is looking at you it's amazing right <laughs> have a beautiful lovely lovely march uh, you still have Pisces season for like most of the march so have fun have fun you guys and create like I'm really feeling guided to tell you guys to just create because right now you're really in one of those zen times when you're not giving a shit about what other people think. And I love that, 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 that attitude right now. It's just so attractive. 